This is Dalim Vargato from Trimex Solutions with another great tip for those of you who are working with complex imported geometry. Many times you will find embossed text attached to your parts and you know that's gonna drastically increase the number of graphic triangles, uh, number of faces, number of edges. So it's gonna take much longer to compute the graphics data and also to create drawing views because it needs to compute all of this. Removing the text can be done multiple ways. It might be tempted to use the delete face command for that. Uh, the problem is how do you select all these faces really, really fast? If you, let's, let's go normal to and let's explore a couple of ways to do this. And first of all, I'm just gonna mention the fact that delete face has consequences using the delete face. So I'm gonna cover that. Um, if I attempt to run the delete face command, the, the, first of all, the, the biggest problem is how do I select these faces fast? Uh, let's use the filter for field selection, right? I press F5 or we can press X to select just faces. If you try to select with a box, notice how the first click actually gets recorded as a face selection. So the good news is you can do select over geometry. So the first click doesn't get uh, recorded and I can select with a window, right? The problem with that, in shaded mode, it selects only what's visible. It doesn't select the obscured faces so that's a problem right away you might be tempted to say okay if we cannot do that what if we turn on the visibility of the uh, hidden edges maybe let's say let's try hidden lines removed let's try this so again same thing select over geometry let's see if in this case we selected all the faces that we wanted. And again, it didn't work, right? Okay, let's go back one more step. This time show this as hidden lies visible. Same thing as before, select over geometry, click and drag. This time I selected this. The question is, did I select anything else? So you have to be very careful. You might have selected something else. In, case, in this case, let's hope we selected exactly what we wanted. I'm gonna run the delete face command with the patch option, delete and patch, to get the result that we hope to get. And you can see it went pretty well. Um, many times though, you, can, you don't have this luxury of bulk selecting like I did. If you need to remember, hidden lines, visible, that's the, that's the ticket and select over geometry. The problem is if I have the delete face in my part and I save this file, so let me save it with a different name. I'm going to call it imported delete face. Okay. What's the file size? Notice how the file size ballooned from 2.2 to 2.9, almost 3 megabytes. And the reason for that is that solver still keeps the original body data that came from the step file. So in a way, in the file, I have two different representation of the geometry. So as long as you have delete face, you are adding another body in the file. So that's detrimental to performance. What's a better approach? So let me go back to how this model was before I run the delete face command. Let me save this with a different name. I'm gonna call it imported-optimized. Okay. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually start the import diagnostic tool that we discussed in quite a few other tech tips. The cool thing about import diagnostics, you can also select faces that are uh, without any errors. And you can actually delete them. So by deleting this face, I'm almost like changing the step file, the original step file. Once I click OK, of course, I'm adding a bunch of gaps. Once I click OK, I no longer have a solid body. I have a bunch of surface bodies. The good news is that I can see which one is the main body. So it looks like that's the main feature, right? So this creates the main body. Once this is selected, I can invert the selection and simply press the delete button to delete everything else. Of course, when you invert the selection, you also select the major planes, which cannot be deleted. I'm okay with that. Let's delete all the other features that created 
those faces. Notice the key here is deleting feature, not deleting bodies. By doing that, I'm pretty much telling SOLIDWORKS, this is the new step file. So let me run import diagnostics again. I don't want to run field surface. I don't want to run planar surface because that's going to add an extra feature in the tree. I'm simply going to ask SOLIDWORKS to heal this gap. And import diagnostics fills this gap. It's like applying a field surface in there. But the other cool thing, it solidifies this back. So this is now a solid body. So now let's save this file and let's take a look at the file size. So what do you see? I'm started, I started with 2.2 meg. If I run the delete phase command, which adds feature to the tree, I'm going to almost 3 meg. But if I run import diagnostic is to remove that face, it was almost like importing a much simpler step file, 1.9. So another great reason to become familiar with import diagnostics. We're going to have more tips on that. You can see how powerful this tool is for making your life so much easier. Hope you enjoy this. Thank you.